In this video, we'll take a look at the Member Definition tool here in Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition. So Member Definition, before you jump into here, you'll want to be sure you've already done a few things. You've defined the alignment, uh, you've set the peer locations, you have a deck slab, and you've at minimum done the member groups here that tells the software how many beams you have and their locations. And then optionally, you would need to use the standard sections list here if you have rolled shapes because that's where you're going to go in and grab those standard rolled shapes and set them aside uh, in that tool and then here in member definition is where we take advantage of those rolled shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and open the member definition window and you'll notice this initially may look like a relatively busy window but it's really uh, not that bad. It has a lot of little wizards and and other tools here to, to make this process uh, very quick and easy for you. So to define the members we can do one of a couple things. You can define them more or less by hand or brute force method and that's where you essentially you'll uh, use a combination of standard sections uh, and top and bottom cover plates or you'll define uh, one or more uh, sizes or plates along the length of the beam for the web, the top and bottom flange. So if you're using standard sections, for example, you'll set this to standard section, select add. You tell us the portion of the length of the beam. And, and by default, when it's defining these members, it's going to do these uh, within a given span. Even if the beam's continuous, that's OK. It's just kind of how the software keeps track of where uh, the beams begin and end, uh, or the various plate sizes begin and end. So initially it throws a beam in there for the initial uh, span length, which in my case here is 90 feet. I can select a, a material uh, to assign to this, and there's a material table in the software that you can define, or you know, this is what's provided with the software. And then you pick the section that you set aside in the standard sections list. And then that gets applied uh, here to the first span, and then over here on the right, you'll see a section view of that same uh, section. Now another way to do this uh, is by defining the web and top and bottom flange. So for example, if I need uh, to define the web, I can come in here and add something in. Again, I'll let it default to the entire length here, and I'll give it a thickness and a maximum thickness, and then a starting height, and then it could optionally vary in size, either linear, or parabolic, or circular variation. Uh, and if I was using a variation, then I would also define an end height here. And I, so I would go through the process of defining the web uh, for the entire length here. And then I would go about defining, uh, doing the same thing for the top and bottom flange. Now one other way to do this, and I'll go ahead and delete all these out, is there is a very handy little generate plate tool here. So I'm going to tell it that I want to do this for all the members. Uh, so that's going to do it for all four beams uh, on this bridge and say yes, I want to reset their definition. And then here in the uh, in this initial plate size window, I can key in values that I want to use here uh, for the initial size. And then I can also set a maximum size uh, for each of these members. And the maximums are used uh, when we do the design optimization uh, in, in a later process. Uh, but the software does have the, the ability to perform optimization on the top and bottom flanges as well as the web. So I'm going to define some initial values here uh, to use for uh, this particular beam. And again, it's going to do this for uh, all the beams out there. So it gives me some initial sizes here. The reason we vary those plate sizes as we do is that this is typically where you'll need to vary those plate sizes once you do the design optimization later on. So you know at the locations directly over the supports it makes it easier uh, to go in here for whether it's for the web or the top or bottom flange uh, for you to go in and change uh, the thickness and or width of the plate sizes. Uh, at a later time. Thank you for watching this video on member definition uh, here in Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition.